Good evening, everyone, with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro later on. I'm Mike Emery. Glad you've joined us for an exciting evening ahead. Tonight, we bring you a matchup between two great teams. And here is the third voice of our crew, the man in the coldest place, eyesight, Ray Ferraro. So much goes into winning a Stanley Cup. You have to be healthy. You have to battle through injuries. You have to win games that you probably shouldn't win. Now, both teams here are through round one. They've got four wins in the book. They're trying to get to five and get their way closer to the semifinals. I'm Mike Emmerich with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. This playoff game has started. Couldn't get through. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Laid on the green. Gets in, what'll he do? Decides he wants the corner. Wonderful save. Freezes play. Ray's always got something on his mind. Let's hear from him now. Such a great time of the year. You've waited so long to get the playoff series started. Here you are just at the very beginning of it. The Bruins prevail again. Puck lost, knocked to a knee. Charlotte's got it in their own end, driving toward the neutral zone. And the loose puck gathered in by Miller. Slid to Chelios. And he dumps it in. Puck free, roadblock by Miller. And he steps across the line. Possession taken behind the net. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Gains the zone. A great speed bump set up there. Right where the boards turn, he's got it. Picks it up in his own end. Puck picked up here. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock helped. The shot blocked! That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the face. Just over nine minutes remaining in the period. Nothing up on the score sheet yet. The Checkers with a win at center. Nicely into the zone. Can make a play from the corner. Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. Charlotte's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. This was okay about ten years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Stay out of the penalty box when you're playing this team. You do not want to put them on the power play. Absolutely. I think you're right, Eddie. Let's see what the team does here. That was a great job. Shot back down. More time off the clock. Providence in possession, moving it up the wing. Fires! Great save at the edge of the crease. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Providence leaves the defensive zone. Gains the blue line. Puck settled down by Valeski. A good stick there, so no complete pass. And the puck taken over by Samuelson. Providence could not take advantage at a key point in the game. Power play over. I guess we know what they're going to be doing in practice tomorrow. Get on the power play. That was an abysmal effort on the power play. The Bruins lug that along up the wing. Back on his stick. Blocked away. Goes back deep for it. And he's able to keep it in. Snapped off a wrist shot. Moves it to the corner. Take it to the slot. Great poke check. Gathered up again by Brown. Can he send it out? Blue line control. 
Down to the last eight. Skates out with it. Oh, and a save. And he cleared. Tries to clear. And the period comes to an end. Woo! We all need a rest now. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles clear during game play. And wait for a break in the action to lead or return to your seat. The checkers are being held in this game by their goaltender. It would be decisively against them without him. Here's an example of his work as we go to break. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Doc, I'm really surprised there weren't a lot of shots by either one of the teams in that first period. How do you correct that? It's a mindset. Once you get the puck across the blue line, you got to fire the puck at the net, and the other players have to realize they got to look for a rebound. Big face-off win. He's pinned and held at the boards. And that pass is a mess, and so they're going to have to go back out. Broke that play up at center. Muscled off. Snaps a wrister. Oh, and he misses. He wanted to go right underneath the bar there, Doc. You see a shot elevate from the 15-foot area in front of the net, and he misses over top of the net. He's got it. Passing one off now to Chelios. Puck is thrown to Miller. He's in on an onside play. Oh, he had a great chance to shoot there, and he did, but it was answered by the club. Eric's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. with a face-off win to Bolesky. Moving it on up the wing. Long lead pass. Great save in close. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Good reach there. Charlotte's in their own end and controlling play now. Into the end of attack. And the pickup. Trying to go to cross. The Bruins have it in center ice. Tries to get it on net. Sticked away. The checkers have gotten to center ice. Propel to Wall. Off a of body. Good intercept. Moved along and in. Pass cut. Strong play. And they are in. Carries it to the corner. And angled to Samuelson. Wants the shelter of the corner here. Good place to shoot from, and he does. The battle for the puck, and he can't get free. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Takes that pass. Walking a thin line near the border there. Slid back across from one point to the other. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Chris shot. Oh, an error on that pass. Good chance here. Gets across, looks over his options. Players tired, about to get a terrific save, terrific opportunity. The goalie makes himself look big. Trying to get something generated up the wing. Shot blocked.
two periods have been played. They've worked pretty hard at it, and they get a well-deserved rest. Third period coming up shortly. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring complete player listings for both teams, player bios, and informative stories. Smith's save has kept his team in it. At the end of the period, intermission is next. Goalies have dominated in this one. Nothing, nothing into the third. Oh, and he missed the net. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. The Bruins from the neutral zone start to work. Gets in. What'll he do? Let's it go. Wow, what a glove save. Now that's a quick glove. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Defensive zone win. Looking to go, Jay. To Chelios. And now it's directed to Miller. Right into the slot. Got in front of another one. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. The stick broke on the shot. Could be trouble near the line. A shot. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. Doesn't matter how hard you shoot it, he missed the net by a mile. You're going to have to go chase it down. Gets in, looks over his options here. The scrum to the plexiglass. Has it in his own end. That's a free pop thanks to the play by Wall. Shoots. Great point blank save. Keeps it going through the center zone. A backhand shot. Blockered away. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Well, on the way to the net, this puck hits something. It just missed the net. I know lots of people like high-scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been almost like a well-played chess match. There's no room. There's no way that either team can find a way to get many more chances than there's been. Just missed the net with that one. He was trying to be a little bit too fine there. That's why he missed the net. Onside. Took that wrist shot. 
Providence carrying on up the wing. Carries it to the corner. Hard work for possession. Skate kick out of the scrum. One timer. Score! The rookie connects in the playoffs. First time. Each rookie feels comfortable at a different time in the season. Some guys never get it until late in their first year. He's shown that he can contribute in several different ways. He's shown skill. He's been on the body. He's gotten himself gritty. I've really liked the way he's played. Providence has connected for the game's first goal. Now the fun begins. Into the attacking end. Puck grab. What's next? Showing his ability to handle the puck and move it around. He has had a terrific evening. Just under five minutes still showing on the clock this period. A hockey game is one of lead changes, and this one has seen its lead vanish. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Stands him up. To Samuelson. 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Got it right back. He's got that point pass. That hit somebody. Takes that pass from the other point. Missed. The Bruins have it up the wing. Headed to a wild finish. Game even. Fans screaming. Some of them hoarse, I'll bet. He's got him against the glass. Scrum over. Puck kicked. Puck now possessed by Samuelson. Moving it now up the wing. A penalty has been called at a critical point in the game. And the power play unit comes out. The Bruins get a two-minute penalty for tripping. Now oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck. But he tripped up the attacking player. Charlotte's power play unit hasn't gotten started yet. This is their first one of the game, but it's big. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? And that one's sent back out to center. And in flight over the line. Decides he wants the corner. The Bruins get all along. by Chelios. He gains the zone. Puts one on. Great stick save. Uncovered whistle blow. Littleton's looking around wondering where everybody else is, but he had to make a save on an odd man run. Let's see what happens. Fires. Waffle boarding. Pitching it to Chelios. A wonderful save, and that just beat the clock, too. This game is on the way to overtime. Fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena where we're welcoming all of our minor hockey kids here in attendance tonight. Bishop's goal was the last tying goal possible in this game because we're going to end it in overtime sometime in a moment. take the opening draw here. It'll help them because they've still got some time ticking off on the penalty clock. 
And at an angle to Chelios. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Fires. It's blocked. Defender held his ground. The puck is loose. Skates out with it. Back to the blue line. Forks it to Wall. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Providence, enormous penalty kill back at full strength. Really impressive work by the penalty killers as they were able to keep the puck out of the net and keep the game moving. Let's see if they pick up a little momentum here. He gets that pass ahead in stride. Good, solid defense there. The checkers organizing back in their own end. Nicely into the zone. Using the point. Puck three, ricocheted off a defender. Little pass that can start some progress ahead. It's a point hammer shot! Chelios is looking toward center from his own end. Makes that play deep. It is a penalty call, and this could be huge in this game. Will it be decided on the power play? Goche's got a minor penalty. He'll sit two minutes for high sticking. An easy call for the official with the player's hands up and that stick coming up above the shoulders. The Bruins' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Charlotte penalty to number 12. We have a winner. Good job with the stick. Collected by Chelios. Cleared back out. Not much pressure there. Providence will play it from their own end on this power play. Playing this in his own end. Let's a shot go. Loose puck knocked away by Chelios. Nicely received at the point. Shoots. What a reaction save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Smith's able to deflect this into the corner. That's a really easy stick stop for him. Good face-off win. Let's go, Arister. And angled to Breen. Charlotte's penalty kill was significant. Off the goal post. Some power plays have a great percentage, but they don't take advantage when the game's on the line. There's a little bit of an example of a team that had a chance to really get something done. Wonderful stop. Draw the tie up, and his team prevails. The Bruins carrying it in their own end. It's an onside play. Up to the point. Got it in his own end. And he gains the zone. Shoots lightning in that glove. And play stopped because the net is loose. Established. Good reach there. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Not on the net. You talk about a heavy, hard shot. Unfortunately, it just missed. Parked in the slot. Gets that one on a cross. Pass across at the point. Big save. Had it away. Brown's lugging it in his own end, headed north. He moves that one ahead through center. A shot right in that catching glove. Good work. Been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside.
under three minutes left to go in overtime. Two goals so far, divided in half. That is a large win by the defensive centerman. Congratulations to him. One timer. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Shoots one. Big save. Wonderful block. Gains the zone. Back in front. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Loose pop. The defense was in the way. Wonderful play by the defense. To Samuelson. The checkers continue to probe up the wing. Picks it up back there. The Bruins leave their own end. Pitching this one to Cross. Charlotte's looking to Headman up the wing. And it's a good pickup. Right to the point. Gets in. What'll he do? Pass to the slot. That shot came from nowhere. The checkers are moving the puck through the neutral zone. Got that one ahead at center ice. And the loose puck taken by Valeski. Turned away off the path. Puck covered, whistle blown. Smith's made several excellent saves. None better than that. Certainly none bigger than that one here in overtime. There is a game plan for this if you win it. If you win it, you've got a chance. Otherwise, no luck. Let's see. Charlotte's in control of the puck in their own end and readying an attack. Feeds the point. Good jab with the stick there. A terrific bumpy road to the end of a marvelous game. At least one more dramatic face-off. This is why they spend so much time practicing draws. And fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes from the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. Smith's terrific save has kept his team in this game. Intermission is coming up. Underway in another overtime period. Just consider what went on in the intermission. Gloves dried, energy restoked, last minute words, and hopefully, on the part of both teams, they want to see this end quickly. Fatigue and focus come into play here. Knocked right off the stick. Up gathered in. Great poke check. Gains the zone. The checkers setting things up in their own end. Back on his stick. Gives it over to the point. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Moves it to the corner. On to Goche. On the outside, a shot. Terrific save. The Bruins have gotten out of their own end. Puck collected. Keeps it going up the wing. He's got a chance. Score! And the overtime is finished. The horn sounds. The game is over. The Bruins entered overtime hoping to break the tie, and they did. Momentum swings all night long, and they come out on top.
Tournaments are exciting, especially when they are well played. We look with anticipation to our next game. Hope you do too. Good night for now.